So Demon Slayer Burning Ashes have just added the new Kokushiba update, and in today's video I'll teach you guys how to spawn him, no joke. So firstly you need to join the Demon Slayer Burning Ashes Discord, otherwise it won't recognise you. Yes, uh, the developer is that talented that it can use code to detect you if you're in the Discord or not. If you're not in the Discord then it won't spawn for you, so it's simple as. So what you need to do to spawn him is to get water breathing. You need all water moves, so if you don't have all water moves you have to grind for it. Um, I, I don't recommend you fighting Kukushiba because he is harder than the Kasa. So what you want to do, you, you find a random player, it has to be a demon, it has to be a low level demon. So what you want to do is kill him. Well, you want to do that. Everything changes. I need that. Stop. Alright, see, now the game has recognised you. Now what you want to do is head over to, to that village and I'm going to show you what, what to do now. Okay, once you're in the village, you have to buy exactly 69 Ongelis. Exactly, otherwise the game won't recognize you. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now that you've got 69 Ongelis, you don't want to eat them. You do not want to eat them. You have to you have to have it to Kugushiba spawn because it takes quite a lot of... Uh, I mean, you have to have it because Kugushiba spawns. I don't know why it has to be 69 Ongiri. It's a funny number, but the developers just made it that way. What you want to do now is head over and talk to Marichiro because he is a Kugushiba's descendant. Okay, once you buy Marichiro, he's near Giyu, you have to use Water Wheel and directly hit him. You have to hit him perfectly, so I'll show you something like this. Like that. You have to hit him. You don't have to, like, you just have to hit him like that. Anyways, that, that registers. Now you want to talk to him. I hide in the shadows because I may. If you'd like to learn from my ways, feel free to join me. Press alright. Alright, now the game has registered it. So, okay, after that you want to kill a Demon Slayer. Now I've already got one on me. I'm going to do that. Combo him. You don't want to execute him, you don't want to execute him, you have to save him. Right. Oh my god. You don't want to execute him. One, two, three. No, don't execute him. So once you've got a strong demon slayer or a normal demon slayer, the difference does not matter. You have to bring him to the demon cave and exactly by the edge of him, you want to kill him. Okay, now the game registered that, because that is the exact location. Shigoshiba doesn't spawn there, he spawns in his room. But you have to wait till night time. Perfect. Now it's night time. Now it's night time, you can go through an infinity castle. Maybe if you it may be quite dark. But just keep just keep going guys, just keep going. We're almost at we're almost at we're almost at Fugoshi Bosman. Okay, now that we're at Infinity Castle, we're gonna go and uh, go to Kukushiba's room. See these eye things? You have to do some stuff in there. Luckily, I've got a thing. You remember the 69 Orangiris I told you? You have to eat 69 Orangiri straight. Okay, so once you're in Kukushiba's room, endless room, you wanna use you wanna use every move on this eye thing, except from flowing dance because there's no NPCs to do it on. And you wanna do water wheel straight on the middle eye. Great. Now you press Manila Eye, that Manila Eye is a button. Now you want to do, you remember the 69 Onigiris? You want to eat 69 Onigiris straight. Now you've, now that you've ate 69 Onigiris, now you have to wait 10 seconds for Gogoshiba to spawn. And he should come from there. If you just look closely, let's just go to the fog. And he should be, should be, 